Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren, you're watching Dreams Books Courage, and today I'm bringing to you my September wrap-up in my October TBR. And as you can probably tell, I'm not at college right now, I am at home, because we have this thing called fall break where we get a Monday and Tuesday off, so I'm home for about five days. And I also have a lot of videos that I need to film, so this came at the perfect time. I also added some Halloween-inspired accessories, so I hope you like those. So let's go ahead and get into my September wrap-up. Up. So my September wrap-up isn't really much of a wrap-up because I only managed to read one thing in the month of September and even what I did read was quite short. It was only like 40 pages along and it was a novella but that is The Secret Share by Joseph Conrad and I had to read this novella for a class which is Contemporary Approaches to Literature and basically what I do in this class is that we look at different pieces of literature through different types of criticism so some are like feminist criticism, some are psychoanalytic which means that you're looking at the minds of like the author or the characters. Some are historical, there are just a lot of different criticisms so it's definitely very interesting to look at these different words within different types of criticisms. This is about a man who is a captain of a ship and he's basically harboring a fugitive within his captain's quarters and this fugitive actually murdered a man and the main guy refers to the fugitive as his secret share and although this is quite a short read I quite enjoyed it and found it very interesting just within the text and also looking at it in different types of ways. I was nervous going into this read because I've heard bad things about Joseph Conrad, mostly that he is racist, at least in what he has written, especially within the Heart of Darkness. A lot of people talk about the racism within that. And there's a bit of racism in this as well. So it's kind of hard to look past that, but if I'm just looking at it from the way it was written and the story it tells, then I really enjoyed it in those perspectives. I did enjoy the writing style of this novella, and I am reading Heart of Darkness at the end of the semester, so I'm hoping that the writing style will be just as good in that. One thing that did bring me back though on my rating was that there was a lot of ship lingo, which makes sense since they were on a ship the entire time, but it just kind of brought me out of the story a little bit since I don't really know ship lingo. But overall, I give this three and a half stars. It wasn't the best classic that I read, but it was pretty average, and I am still looking forward to reading something else by Joseph Conrad. And so that is it for my September wrap-up. I did only manage to read one thing, which is why this is another combined video. For my Goodreads reading challenge, it was originally 60 books, and now it's just 28, which is the number of books that I've already read in this year, which is kind of sad to me. It's probably the lowest amount of books that I've read in a single year since I started Goodreads, and also since I started this channel. But but I feel like a reading challenge usually just puts a lot of pressure on me, so I don't really think I'm going to be participating in it as much next year. Either way, I still do plan on reading four novels within the month of October, so we'll just have to see how this goes. The first one that I'm currently reading is another one from the class that I was just talking about, and that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And this is actually a reread of Frankenstein for me. I think I originally gave this four stars, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, I'm rereading this, and I am currently about 80% through with it. I am happy to be rereading it since I haven't read it in like three to four years. And obviously I'm looking at this one again through different criticisms, so I think that's a very interesting way to examine Frankenstein. For those of you who do not know, Frankenstein is like a story within a story within a story. So first it's about this guy trying to travel to the North Pole and find treasures that like no one has ever found before. And within that story is the story of Victor Frankenstein, who at the core of the story is trying to make a monster. Or he's not really trying to make a monster, he's trying to make a creature in an unnatural way. And within that story is the story of Frankenstein's monster as pictured on this cover. Although this cover is not at all historically accurate, I just really love these covers. And so those are like the three basic stories that are happening within this. The story is just very layered and there's a lot to it and so I really enjoy it in that aspect. But the writing style for some reason is kind of hard for me to get through. Sometimes I really love Victorian literature and sometimes it's just kind of hard for me. I don't know, I feel like Victorian literature is either a hit or a miss for me. But I do really enjoy the story, although Although at times I feel like it's too slow for me. At this point I'm kind of just excited to get to the end because I've been reading this for like three weeks now but it does kind of have a creepy vibe for the month of October so I do appreciate that. And the other book that I'm currently reading is Star Wars Lost Stars by Claudia Gray and I've been reading this book since August so I'm really looking forward to finishing it out but you know of course college gets in the way and other books that I have to read for other classes and this is like a 500 page book so it does take me quite a bit of time to get through it. This novel tells the story of two best friends and you get to follow both of their lives from the middle of like the third and fourth movie to so far like the fifth movie. This is canon but it does not follow the original episode 
episodes. It follows completely new characters. And I find this really interesting because these characters want to become part of the Empire, which sounds absolutely crazy to anyone who has seen the Star Wars movies. But I've never seen another perspective. So it's really interesting to see these characters' perspectives on it. And also how they just mature and how their perspectives might change a bit. I'm really enjoying this, although the writing style is not amazing. It is pretty good. I feel like it's so much fun to just really follow these two characters' life stories. And also just how they intertwine. And it does really draw you in and make you want to read till the end. So I'm definitely excited to see where this novel goes. And the next novel is one that I'm just reading for fun for the month of October and trying to get in that creepy mood. Although I have not yet started it, I'm hoping to quite soon. And that is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, which is edited by April Genevieve Chuchulk. And it's an anthology that features 14 different authors and obviously has those like creepy vibes and I'm so excited for that. On the back it says that it is a powerhouse anthology featuring some of the best thriller and horror writers around along with a little splash of blood. So I am really hoping that this will be scary. I just want to read something scary so badly. I feel like I've only really read one scary thing in my entire life so I definitely need more horror reads and I'm really hoping that this will be one but even if it's creepy I will settle for that. And I'm just looking forward to making my way through this anthology throughout the month of October and just seeing where these stories end up but I'm definitely hoping for the best. I actually have not read anything previous by any of these authors so I'm definitely looking forward to that and definitely looking forward to seeing where these stories end up. And the last novel that I'm hoping on reading in the month of October is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And again, this is for the same class that I've mentioned earlier. I don't know much about this one either, but the cover looks pretty creepy. So I'm really hoping that there will be some creepy vibes. Although I am reading this one for class, I feel like it fits in great with the Halloween mood. And I do really love the month of Halloween and getting scared, so I'm hoping that it'll have some creepy vibes to it. On the back, it says that it was too disturbing for many tastes when first published. So I am very excited for that. Although of course tastes have changed a lot over the years and I feel like it's very hard to scare someone nowadays, especially within literature. But I am looking forward to this one. I did plan on reading it eventually, but I'm glad that I'm ending up reading it this semester. I have high hopes for this one. I'm really looking forward to the criticisms that we talk about concerning this novel and I'm just looking forward to this novel overall. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to know down below how many books you managed to read in September and how many you plan on reading in October. Also, I wanted to mention that I've been posting more on my bookstagram. So if you want to follow that, I do have a link to it down below. I'm trying to go for a Halloween theme, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and now I'm going to go get back to reading.